Drivers passing through Macon may soon have a new place to park their trucks. A company applied to add a new parking space for the big rigs. Cecily Stow talked to two drivers about how it could be helpful for them. People pull over because most of the time there's nowhere to park. Sadika Dixon is a truck driver worried about safety. And if they did just leave a spot, maybe it just wasn't enough room. Most of the time that's what that happens, but that is the most dangerous area to park. And she's not the only one. DeCarlo Terry drives trucks too, passing through Macon often. He says regulations around parking have made things complicated. It's kind of a mixed thing because, you know, they set stuff aside for truck drivers to pull over, but if they wouldn't have put all the regulations on the industry in the first place, the way that they're doing, then they wouldn't have ran into this problem. Both Dixon and Terry welcomed the idea of a parking lot just for them, and soon they may have another one in Bibb County. Joyride Logistics applied to build a lot next to I-475. It would have 37 spaces over three acres off Hawaiian Village Drive. I spoke with people in Westwood Park and the Ranchitos, two manufactured home neighborhoods that would be located near the parking lot. No one wanted to go on camera, but the people I spoke to said they were a little worried about the increased traffic, but they understand why truckers need it, and they figured the project would just go forward. Dixon believes lots like the one proposed are necessary, and she wants people to understand truck drivers are essential. Without truck driving, how would they be able to go to the stores and get the things that they need? If it's not for us, we need a safe place to shut down and to eat, to take a shower, to just relax comfortably. In Macon, Cecily Stout, 13 WMAZ News. The Bibb County Planning and Zoning Committee is scheduled to discuss the lot at their Monday hearing starting at 1.30. Tonight we're taking a closer look at previous restrictions set up by the county for trucks and a new lot that opened up for drivers. Since January, planning and zoning has been enforcing an ordinance preventing truckers from parking in neighborhoods or in public parking lots. At the, tri at the time, drivers said they didn't have anywhere else to park. But there are a few new places with open spaces. Terry's Truck Parking on Industrial Boulevard has 200 spaces. Mill Georgia Industrial Parking Lot and Macon Truck Park are also available options for drivers.